Hey guys, this is Camille and welcome to my short video course consisting of three videos in which I will teach you seven simple strategies and principles that super rich and rich have been using for thousands of years to increase the wealth and to preserve the wealth and th these strategies are so simple, these principles are so simple that everybody, you and everybody else can use them and apply in your life with success. It doesn't matter where you live, how much you earn, what's your education, um, what's the economical situation, what culture around you, doesn't matter. It's been proven for thousands of years that those principles work. So let's start from them. Uh, they, there is a brilliant book, The Richest Man in Babylon. If you don't have it, I suggest you get this book immediately, link underneath the video. Um, that describes those strategies in a very, very interesting uh, and ex kind of readable way. It's a very easy read, easy to understand. So I will tell you about those principles and I will add a few more things uh, that are more current and things that I've learned from other people. These are things that are being taught by Dr. John Demartini, they were taught by Jim Rohn, who's a, who was a very known millionaire and business mentor. These are principles that Warren Buffett has been using and, and he's become the richest man in the world as well. Uh, so for that reason, I think it's worth paying attention to those principles. So what is it all about? So let me tell you the most important part of this book. A part of all you earn is yours to keep. So let me repeat that because it's very important. A part of all you earn is yours to keep. And you might think, what does that mean? Of course it's mine to keep. No, it's, it's really not. But before I will explain that to you, I'm going to write it down because it's crucial that, that you get it. So, a part, a part, I hope you can see it, a part of all, you might want to write it down as well, of all you earn is yours to to keep exclamation mark at the end is yours to keep so what does it mean well when you earn you get the money but very quickly you need to start giving it to some people you need to pay your rent pay your bills buy yourself clothes maybe uh, pay for some hobbies that you have get yourself some ice cream or go to a cinema so very quickly you part with with everything you have earned and that's what many people have been doing that's what most people actually I think in the world have been doing and that's why there is so little financial independence in the world so what you need to do you need to commit to keeping a part of all you earn now the golden rule is that you keep 10% as a minimum as a minimum now, this is important I'm gonna explain why so 10% so out of every dollar or every pound that you make you put away 10p or 10 cents 10 percent uh, to where your savings accounts or to your pocket to special pocket to special place where you save the money now if you don't know how to do it if you're telling me now let's say that you know that you need exactly as much as you earn to cover all your expenses so you're not gonna have any savings at the end of the month and that's fine but you're missing the point and I'm gonna teach you how you can turn that around what you need to do you need to put the money into savings first so there is this principle that rich people say pay yourself first and that's what it means that means that whenever you get any income even if it's the smallest one even if someone gives you a fiver or if someone buys you lunch that you expected to pay for instead of thinking oh I've uh, saved five quid free lunch you should take that five quid and put it into the savings pay yourself first apply this principle a part of all you earn is yours to keep so what you do you take that 10 percent and put into special savings account now watch the magic happen 
by the end of the month I'm sure that if you put the 10% aside and you start figuring out how you can survive on that 90% you are most likely to find a way and even if you don't find a way for the whole 10% you will find um, uh, sorry for the 90% you will find a way of how to survive from 95% so you will still have 5% left in the saving and the worst comes to worst I'm sure you will be able to leave at least 1% in your savings the first month but that's the worst scenario don't tell me that you can't really leave anything even 1p or 1 cent leave something there 5 cents 10 cents whatever but leave something as much as you can now watch the magic happen as you start doing that um, I can promise you that maybe not in the first month most people will in the first month figure out how to survive on 90% instead of 100% but after a few months it will be very easy for you to put away the 10% and as time goes by you will be able to increase that from 10% to 12, 15, 20, 30 and maybe even more percent that depends people have done it now there, there, there is a story that Dr. John Demartini says about a lady in, in, uh, in USA who, who was very who was making minimum salaries he was paid like two dollars uh, 20 or something like this um, per hour because that, that was many years ago but still it was very low pay uh, uh, sorry a wage but nevertheless she saved 17 of everything she earned and when when she was 70 or something like this she actually committed around 10 million dollars to, to a charity and she used exactly the same strategy so I'm going to, to teach you that strategy so trust me and follow the strategy save the money first do you get the money do not buy ice cream do not pay for anything first put the money to your savings and only then pay for something else and you might say well well I, I'm just making the payment so what's the difference if I first pay here and, and then uh, half a minute later I put it into the savings there is a big difference it's your habit it's your mindset you need to remember that you are you are the most important person in the world you need to pay yourself first and you need to affirm it to yourself and to the world first. so pay yourself first well, if there is a fire at home maybe you you first will put the fire out but the next thing after that you will actually put the money into the savings the, this is so important so crucial your future depends on it now you have a choice you can either continue as you have lived so far and head for wherever you're heading and if you're not saving money I can tell you that you're heading for a disaster 99% of uh, probability and if you are saving brilliant keep going with it just increase the savings okay so what happens next with the savings so or what if you have debts I will cover that in my second videos there is a strategy to cover debts nevertheless you still need to save so you save some money in the first place and then you will handle the debts from that 90 percent of uh, what has remained if you need to round up because 10% uh, is not really an, an even number round it up uh, so the savings are bigger so make it 10.5% not 9.5% yeah always be committed to making to yeah to making your savings bigger and bigger and bigger that's that's how it is so part of all you earn is yours uh, to keep there is another thing very very important as you start doing this as you start committing to putting the money aside watch your unexpected bills unexpected in expenses drop and disappear Th this is something that people have observed when you start doing this suddenly the universe is helping you and those unexpected expenses they disappear they happen very very rarely so just because of that you will have money to put into your savings and remember there is no risk in savings this is this is so important no risk if you put aside 10 percent and at the end of the month you suddenly decide that you have to take this this money you just take it out of your savings and obviously you would be doing yourself this service because you're killing your own future you're killing the goose laying golden eggs but nevertheless you can still do it so there is no risk in savings and I want to get this across to you that's how Warren Buffett built his uh, empire he started small he didn't come from a rich family he just started saving 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 then started investing 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 more until finally he became the richest man in the world and maybe you're not um, as ambitious at, as him you maybe you don't want to be the richest man in the world but nevertheless this principle will 
make sure that you will be heading towards financial independence and having a great life for yourself, for your children, for your family or whoever else you want. So follow this. So a part of all you earn is yours to keep. Now why 10%? Uh, well, this is a magical number. There, there is important, uh, something very important, another reason why to save, and I will talk about this in my next video, why you need to save before you actually invest into something that's uh, more risk, risky than, uh, than saving. Saving is an investment as well, but there are some other types of investments that we more commonly call investments we normally don't call savings investments and before you do that you need to save so remember first save and 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 by saving you earn yourself a right to invest and and you invest first in safe things and then maybe a little bit more riskier and you never really invest into uh, very risky things or so-called speculation i'm gonna talk about this as well in my next videos um, so stay tuned so 10% is a magical number, it's because m most people can actually afford to put 10% into savings and survive on the 90%. It's very unlikely that you won't be able to do it, even if you think you, you, you can't. Once you put the 10% aside, you will see that you can. Even if you have a situation that the moment you get the money, someone is standing next to you taking 100% of it, first t take 10%, put it in your pocket, Give them 90% and if they say what about the, the other 10% you will say it's mine to keep because there is this principle however since you since you are <laughs> yes yeah, since you're insisting here we go here's the 10% but I really need need to keep the 10% so negotiate negotiate and get that 10% back into your pocket that's that's crucial that you do it so even if you know you're not gonna get it still put it in your pocket first and then give it to whoever you might want to give if you have such an extreme situation I don't think you you will but just you know to show you the importance of the principles of saving 10% of everything you earn at least by the way this is at least so if you think you can do 50% do 50% and as I said if, if you run out of, uh, of money you can always take the 10 or 20% and put it back and you will still end up with 30% of savings which means you are on the way to your financial independence much quicker and remember it doesn't make how much you earn because the more you earn the higher are your expenses so the less you earn the lower are your expenses therefore you will still be able to uh, achieve uh, in financial independence at the same time and become a millionaire probably at the same time as someone who makes a lot of money and, and it's been shown and proven over the thousands of years people who make lots of money but don't uh, have that mindset they lose the money very quickly or they are in debt which is obviously ridiculous but that's what um, what people do and there's nothing wrong with that they just don't know about this but now you are at the I don't know five percent of people who know that principle and your life is going to change dramatically in the next year and two and three years uh, when you apply it. Some people have experienced incredible changes in the first month because they started applying it to everything they do and, and you might want to do because they, they've become committed to saving so suddenly this is a purpose in their lives. They didn't have a purpose but then they thought I'm gonna save that's my purpose in life how can I get more money to put to my savings ex account maybe I'll do some extra hour of work here maybe I'll do some extra time there maybe I'll do this business with that guy I'll, I'll swap this and that and and suddenly those people have experienced the uh, magic in their life in the first month which continued for a very long time till the end of their lives even so start applying this I, I cannot ex emphasize the importance of this uh, I'm, I know that this video is, is going for a long time now longer than maybe you would expect it and I'm talking about the same thing but this is so important this is basic and so important I want you to get it first uh, put the savings uh, your earnings into a savings account and then put out the fire if there is a fire uh, around you know just just kidding first handle the fire you know but it's so important so crucial that you that you do that that you put minimum 10% to your savings account um, so let me see is that everything that I wanted to cover uh, in this uh, in this video 
Yes, so 10% magic number, everybody can put that aside and also 10% is a magic number that applies to investing because 10% is, uh, is a risk that most people can take. Most people will take the risk and if they lose 10% of the investments they usually cool about this, they, uh, they're not very unhappy or depressed. Some people can take 5% only, some people can take even 20% but 10% is, is roughly the number to apply generally to most human beings. By the way, interesting things, th this might um, change during uh, times of recession, people, when the times are risky, people are, are, are not willing to lose 10%, they will only risk 5%. During the good times, people are happy to risk 20%, so that's interesting as well. But generally, 10% is a, is a number that you should aim at, uh, and remember, you're looking at the long-term strategy. So, I think I have covered a lot, uh, so let's sum up. A part of all you earn is yours to keep. And I want you to repeat it to yourself every day until you get it and repeat it to people around you. Save minimum 10% of everything you earn and you will be on the way to your financial independence, abundance and maybe even becoming a millionaire or like in the case of Warren Buffett, the richest man in the world. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video uh, in this series. Thanks for watching, like the video, subscribe and share it with others. Take care.